Hi YouTube! Today I'm so excited because I signed up for an event on pocketletterpulse.com and it's called I Spy and the letter for February is an O. So what is better than to make a pocket letter with owls? I'm excited because I like owls and I wanted to make an owl pocket letter for a while but I just never came around to it, I guess. So today I signed up and I got so many ideas in my head and I wanted to start right away. So I don't know, it might be a little bit messed up. I hope not. So um, bear with me if it is, because the idea is just in my head. And normally I know already what kind of pockets I want to make, but today it's like, I know a little, but then I don't know. <laughs> so I want to start out in a different way. And this will be also the first pocket letter. I think it's the first, which I don't make card by card necessarily. Normally I do that because I don't know, it just it's just my style. But this one, I want to be putting some stuff on the top of the pocket letter sheet and inside and we'll see how this works out. I embossed some brown paper. So this is how it looks like. I think it's so cool. I, I have so many ideas for this. So however, I embossed it and then I just drew some branches. So um, because I want to make the branches like on the top of my pocket letter, something like this. I drew them and I cut them out. So I want to put them on the outside and then I would put something on the inside of the card or maybe also on the outside. So I started out with that. I will need three branches because I want two of them go to the left side and one to go to the right side. And I will just stick them down on the top of my pocket letter. And I'm really very unorganized today because I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. So, that's why I did not prepare anything, just a couple things like this. So I'm gonna just stick them down on the outside. So it's gonna look something like that. And now I wanna make the cards for the inside of the pockets. And for this one, I made something already for it. I didn't want to waste time on camera and I just took the dies I got from the Wish app. It looked like that and I made myself a template because there was this size of a die but the bigger die would not fit onto the card so I just made myself a template of this one on some cardstock and then I took another piece of cardstock and I made a slightly bigger one so I just drew it by hand and I cut it out so I made this template and then I made a wooden piece of paper with a embossing folder and yeah I think I described it way too long however I want this to look like that because I wanted some brown in the background and I want to be using some of my, because it's still February, I will be using the white paper with the hearts. I got it Joanne for 17 cents and I inked it up on the side already, a little bit red. It doesn't have to be like very precise. So I'm going to be using this one. and. I will be using the sentiment right here and I want to put the owls up here and probably, yeah, and a cupcake. The good thing about it is that the owls are puffy already so we don't need to do anything else to them anymore and the cupcake comes on this, I should have showed it, you see, so it's just sticking out also. So the cupcake is slightly bigger so I'm gonna just cut it off a little bit right here 
and then I'm gonna put two jumps on both of the sides. So this is how it looks like. It says all you need is love and a cupcake. <laughs> so it was very quick and easy. I'm going to be sticking this in the lower part of my pocket. So now I have to be careful because I stuck this down already. Maybe I shouldn't have to. This was mistake number one, <laughs> to stick them down before I put the cards in. <laughs> so maybe I should have done the cards first. But I will see if it doesn't work out like that. I will just take them off and stick them down later. So this is how it looks like the very first card. And because it's so quick and easy, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the next card because the next card is very easy also. I want to be putting one right here. And I also pre-made the same thing, just a little bit bigger. And it says, it's not about how you look, it's about how you see, which is true. So I'm gonna be putting it on the same piece of paper. I only pre-cut one, so I will cut out another one and I will be sticking an owl on top of it. I will go ahead and ink it up too. So this is the owl I chose because it has such big eyes. And I'm going to try and draw something like, I wish I had a sticker of that, like glasses. If it doesn't work out, I have another owl sticker right there. I think it looks just fine. <laughs> so I drew some glasses on the owl. Because <laughs> it says it's not about how you look, it's about how you see. So I want the owl to be like, I don't know, <laughs> wearing glasses <laughs> because it's blind. Now I'm going to just stick the stuff down right here and here. And because my owl is very flat, so not dimensional or anything at all, I will just stick it to a piece of cardstock and then cut it out so it, it will be a little bit thicker. And this is it. I have my second card. <laughs> so this works out pretty good and fast. I'm gonna be putting this one right here. And again, <laughs> this is my way. <laughs> this keeps coming off. I will probably use my glue gun and glue this down. I will see. I don't want this to fall off when she receives the pocket letter. So now onto the third card. It's right here and it's even easier because there's only one owl I want to put on it. So I want this owl just to sit on here, kind of, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I will just stick a piece of paper behind it. So I get this piece of paper and I want to put it in the back here. Actually, I cut two so they are connected in the middle. And then I would like to put both of them here and I will probably do some just like that. And I will go ahead and put a little piece of the same paper right around this. So I have the brown and the hearts. But this is what I want because I, I still want a little bit of the paper in the back since I have the branch right here. So I'm gonna just stick everything down and I have a little piece here which I will keep, maybe I need it. I will put this card in the back and I will stick the owls on the outside. 
because I want them to sit on the branch. So this is how it looks like. I think I'm going to put something here, like a sentiment or something, but I'm not there yet. I will think about the sentiment later, because for right now, what I want to do is to do just the same thing over here, because I want another owl to be sitting this one, I want to be sitting right here. So I'm using all the different owls. I think they are all from Dollar Tree though. The card I need. Now I will just stick the other smaller piece of paper on here, just like I did with the other one. So I need to cut off a little piece right here. And I will be putting this in the back. That and then I will put my owl on top of it. This is what we got. And I must say, <laughs> if you don't make every card like I normally do, the process is so much quicker. <laughs> so, however, now I wanna be doing something, I think right here. And for this part, I will be using another piece and I will be cutting out the card. A smaller piece of my hard paper on top of it. So I printed out something really quick on my computer. It says, give today your owl. Get it? <laughs> I think those sentiments are funny. I like them. So I will just cut it out. And now I will use the dice from my from the wish app. I will just cut the sentiment out like this. So to keep it in place, I will stick it down with some tape. Because I don't want it to get moved or something while I did put it into my big kick so I want to get the right position and then I will just stick it down on the outside of the die and I will cut it out real quick so this is what I got and now I'm lucky enough to have a bigger die so I want to cut out another piece of paper, of the brown paper, so I can, it just looks better. I think I can put it in the background right here. And I will just cut out a piece of brown paper. Before I cut it out, I will emboss it. So I, now I will just go ahead and die cut it. So this is it. Now I'm going to just stick this down to here and this one on the top. See if I would have just stuck the white paper on here. It looks like nothing, but with the brown in the back, it makes it look much better. But we're not done yet. I need a couple owls for this one, of course. And I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree owls. And I got the idea from my just all times favorite YouTuber, Coupon to Provide. She actually was the one who inspired me to craft at all. And she put them on the outside, like they just looking into it. So I want to do the same thing. I think it looked super good. Just like that, and I'm just gonna cut them all off. This is how it's gonna look like. I think I would have never done this. <laughs> I saw her doing that and I was like, oh my God, why are you destroying all your stickers? But I think this is so cute. So I'm gonna be putting a heart on the top. So this one is done. 
and so quick. I can't believe it. This goes up here. Four pockets left and I think I will do it in the next video. This one is going to be too long if I do all of them. But I'm excited. It's... I've done like, what is it? Half of it is ready, even more. So... It was super quick. Maybe I should start do my pocket letters like that. No. Do the part two to this one. And I see you later. I hope you like this one and maybe it inspires you too. I would be happy if it does. The next video. I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.